Well, there are lots of um, ways that the environment is being affected by factory farms. I mean, the obvious ones are the water pollution, the air pollution caused by all of the waste uh, that these animals, I mean, if you look at, for instance, a hog farm in Utah where there are 50,000 hogs, they're creating more waste than uh, Salt Lake City. Those are the obvious problems, but there are a lot of other environmental problems associated with the technologies that are used to make factory farms more profitable. So um, genetically engineered crops uh, are, um, are used for growing corn and soy, and there are lots of environmental effects from inserting genes uh, into a, uh, a crop where the, the species are not related. This can affect, um, for instance, um, we can see antibiotic resistance uh, growing because a, a, a virus gene is inserted into a crop. Um, there are lots of impacts around RBGH, another uh, hormone that's used to uh, make dairy cows produce more milk. All of these technologies have both uh, an ethical impact and an environmental impact. Water pollution is one of the most devastating effects of factory farms. So look at broilers. Um, a large percentage of them are grown on the uh, eastern shore of the Delmarva Peninsula, that's Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia. Um, billions of chickens. And they produce a tremendous amount of waste that ends up in lagoons that leak and go into the Chesapeake Bay. And the Chesapeake Bay is virtually dying from this pollution. We also see the same type effect um, with hogs in North Carolina and the other places that hogs are grown. Um, these lagoons are filthy. Um, and the waste is also sprayed on fields, and there's more waste than farmers can really use in growing crops. And what's happening in North Carolina and a lot of these other places where there are factory farms, this water pollution is getting into the groundwater, and it's being carried out into the ocean, but it's also in people's wells. And these factory farms are often located in fact, they're almost always located in places where um, people are poor and there are people of color. So in North Carolina, it's affecting um, people's health. The, the waste is causing uh, not only uh, water pollution, but also air pollution. These factory farms are located next to schools sometimes and are, are causing lung disease. In 2012, we're going to have another farm bill, and it's really the food bill. And we need everyone to become educated and to hold their elected officials accountable for the decisions and the way that they vote on this very important legislation. So we say that we can't shop our way out of it, uh, but of course people can also take personal action and only buy products that are um, produced in a sustainable and healthy way. But it is going to take more than doing that um, because we need to address the way um, we produce food, uh, not only meat, but all of, uh, all of our food. And we need to steer away from processed food. And we need to hold these companies accountable for the way that they're affecting um, the health and well-being of Americans.